It's road course time once again for the stars in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. For the second time this season, the up-and-coming NASCAR superstars prepare to go left and right, this time from Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, with the four-mile Road America course. This is your full race preview of what to expect from the 2020 Henry Rifles 180 coming live from Road America for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Let's have a look at your playoff standings after Kansas, where Chase Briscoe still sits atop of the board with his five wins this season. Austin Cindric, a road course ace at three wins, leaving him second in the standings. And Noah Graxon and Harrison Burton both have their pair of wins. Graxon with those series leading eight stage wins, so leaves him with 18 playoff points, while Burton has no stage wins. Brandon Jones, now a two-time winner this season, picked up the win last Saturday afternoon at the Kansas Speedway. Couple that with his two stage wins, he has those 12 playoff points. And Justin Haley, one win, one stage point, that gives him a six playoff point lead. Justin Allgaard 244 points ahead of the cut line. He is the first driver in on points by way of his seven stage wins. However, the driver with the most points without a win is Ross Chastain, who sits 320 points over the cut line. Nonetheless, both these Chevy drivers solidly locked into the playoffs, even without a checkered flag on the season. Michael Annette right now, 168 points above the cut line. He sits ahead of Ryan Sieg. Ryan Sieg with his two stage wins. It puts him down at 22 points ahead of the cut line, which is the worst of the 12 of Xfinity Series drivers going for the playoff spots, but those two stage wins rise him above Riley Herbst and Brandon Brown. Jeremy Clements right now, first driver added to playoffs. He sits 32 points behind the cut line, while Daniel Hemrick and running only a part-time season sits 48 points out of a playoff spot. If he were to race his way in, it would not count as he hasn't run the full season. Wyatt Snyder, one of those rookie drivers, 49 points behind the cut line, and Jesse Little, another one of those rookies at minus 73. Now let's have a look at those rookies where Harrison Burton leads the way by a mile, 587 points in the bank, a 177 point lead for him over his J. GR teammate Riley Herbst. Mike Snyder and Jesse Little at minus 262 and 286. They have a good little battle going on there while Joe Graff Jr. sits behind them 360 points out and Cody Vandervall 482 points off of this rookie battle lead. Now let's have a look at your TV schedule from Road America. All of your racing action goes down on Saturday, August 8th, 2020, where at 12 p.m. you have the Henry 180 at Road America on NBCSN. And now let's have a look at the 37 NASCAR Xfinity Series drivers as they'll take to the four-mile Road America for the Henry 180. Driving for JD Motorsports, it's their quartet of Chevy entries. Driving a market scans number zero, it's driver Mike Wallace. And at the wheel of the number four, rookie driver for the team, Jesse Little. Driving in car number six, the Big Machine Vodka Hand Sanitizers entry, making his second series start, this is Jade Buford. And at the wheel of car number 15, this is going to be driver Jeffrey Earnhardt. Driving for Junior Motorsports is their quartet of Chevy drivers. In the Allstate Parts number one, it's the fret, Michael Annette. Then driving in the Brand Professional Agriculture's number seven, the 2018 winner here, Justin Allgaier. And in the Poppy Bank number eight, that's Daniel Hemmerich. Driving into the Bass Pro Shops True Timber Brock Rifle Coffee Company, number nine, two-time winner this season. That's Noah Graxon. Then added to R Motorsports Stable, driving in car number zero two, a throwback to Mark Martin's 1982 Cup Series paint scheme, making his return to the NASCAR Xfinity Series. It's Andy Lally. Then for BJ McLeod Motorsports, their trio of entries rolls like this: driving in a JF Electric number five Toyota, it's driver Matt Mills. And then at the wheel of car number number 78 in his return to the series, making his season debut. This is Scott Hecker. And driving in the number 99, the hometown driver of Josh Balicki. SS Greenlight Racing brings their duo of Chevys like this. For the Lucas Oil Products, number 07, making his NASCAR Xfinity Series debut at an NTT Data IndyCar Series, it's driver R.C. Emerson. And then for Bucked Up Energy on car number 08, the team's full-time rookie driver of Joe Graff Jr., Colin Racing brings their trio of Chevys like this. In the Nutrient Ag Solutions, number 10, the Melon Farmer, Ross Chastain. And for the Leaf Filter Gutter Protections, number 11, a winner at Talladega, Justin Haley. Then driving into Ellsworth Advisors, number 16, the Road Course Ringer, a 
AJ Allmendinger, fan for MBM Motorsports, making his NASCAR Xfinity Series debut, driving in car number 13, the Smithfield Holmes Toyota of U.S. Navy veteran Jesse Awuji, and driving an OCG Graz Bar number 66, its driver Chad Fincham. At the Joe Gibbs Racing Stable, they bring their trio of Toyota Supras like this. For the Monster Energy number 18, the rookie driver in Riley Herbst, been driving for Toyota Service Centers on car number 19, a two-time winner this season in Brandon Jones. And at the wheel of the Dex Imaging number 20, the two-time winning rookie this season of Harrison Burton. Richard Childress Racing brings the Rude Bush Development number 21 Chevy of Kaz Grala, while Team Penske has the Menards number 22 of Austin Sendrick, this being the one road course race Sendrick did not win last season. DGM Racing brings their trio of Chevys like this, driving in the Chinchor Electric number 36 and only his second start this season, it's Preston Pardis returning to the race that he made his debut in a year ago. And in the prolonged controls, number 90, it's driver Alex LeBay. Then at the wheel of the Chasing Freedom, number 92, it's Josh Williams. For Ryan Sieg Racing, their duo of Chevys looks like this. In the CMR Construction and Roofing, number 39, it's team owner Ryan Sieg. And driving for Louisiana Hot Sauce on to number 93, the car fielded by Ryum Brevers Racing. This is rookie Myatt Snyder. Then for Martin's Motorsports, in a brand new look on the Skyview Technologies, number 44, he's team owner Tommy Joe Martins. And for Mike Carmen Racing, driving in the Stand for Flag duo of Chevys, it's the number 47 of Kyle Weberman and the number 74 seeing driver Bailey Curry. Jeremy Clements Racing's in action with the repairablevehicles.com number 51 of the 2017 winner this race, Jeremy Clements. Then for Jimmy Means Racing and the Advanced Dairy Services, number 52 Chevy, it's rookie driver Cody Vanderwall. A Tory Racing Enterprises brings to roofclaims.com number 61 of driver Stephen Light, while the Brandon Bill Motorsports BMS race team number 68 Chevy seems team owner Brandon Brown. And at the Wheel, the Stuart Haas Racing Henry Firearms, number 98, a five-time winner this season. Your points leader, the driver who ran the IMSA race here last weekend, it's Chase Briscoe. Now let's have a look at your fantasy picks for Speedway Collective. Two drivers from each category that I think can bring home some points to your fantasy team. In the A-Class, gotta give me Austin Sindrick, a road course ace. I mentioned this is the one road course race he did not win this season. He looks stout to park it in victory lane for the fourth time this year. Keep an eye on that double deuce. And the 98 of Chase Briscoe ran the IMSA race here last weekend. Has a ton of momentum this season. Keep an eye out for driver number 98. On to the B-Class. Easy decision here. AJ Allmendinger. I'm making him my starter. Easy points. You gotta go with him. A road course ace and defending pole sitter for this race. Keep an eye out on the dinger. Doesn't really matter what my second driver is for the B-Class. But Justin Haley. Very solid road course racer. Keep an eye out on him as well. A duo of Colin Carr for your B class. In the C class, gotta go with former race winning experience and Jeremy Clements in that number 51. And how about the 36 of Preston Pardis? He runs in those Mazda Pro Cup cars, has a ton of experience here at Road America and made his debut in this race a year ago. On to the D-Class, I'm taking a duo of Chevys that have road course ringers in them. Giving that JD Motorsports number 6 of Jade Buford had a great run at the Indy Road Course, which was his series debut. And that 07, give me RC Emerson. That's the car that Buford drove in the Indy Road Course race. This time it has another road course ace from the Indy Car Series. Keep an eye out on these drivers bringing value to your D-Class. And now let's have a look at your race stats for the Henry 180. The field's going to go for 45 laps, 180. 82 miles around the 4.048 mile road course Road America. Stage 1 and Stage 2 only 10 laps apiece. The final stage will be 25 laps and your defending race winner is Christopher Bell. Don't forget to catch the 2020 Henry 180 coming on Saturday, August 8th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time on NBCSN. Thank you guys so much for watching this NASCAR Xfinity Series race preview video. For more motorsports content, you can check out my newest video by clicking on the left. Hit that circle in the middle to subscribe and check out that video on the right. It's one you don't want to miss. You can follow me on Twitter at Kemo Cup Series with another NASCAR race preview video. This has been Kemo on YouTube saying thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next motorsports video.